which I didn't read out in Gen 2 because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. I spoiled the other one, but... So that was created by the Society. It was designed to be a close combat specialist proto-mech. So yeah, it looks it's like it. It's got <laughs> claws and t it's like f lots of physical weapons. Yeah. Things like that. So they do a lot of damage in close combat, which is kind of cool. They do a lot of damage in yeah. close combat. It's got a head spike. It's got a whipping tail. Uh, it carries electric discharge protomech armor, which disrupts control systems in other battlefield units. So it's like a taser thing. or a Kind MCM of a tasery type a, but yeah. deal, but it's yeah. got an SRM4 with 10 reloads as well. Yep. So that's insane. So I was thinking Ravage off um, Transformers. I was thinking Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that too. <sighs> yeah. But I mean, like Ravage, he's got the little gun pops out or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I know the one you mean, yeah. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. And then there's a Basilisk B variant. Okay, so it replaces the SRM with a larger engine and an experimental Protomech Myama booster. Ow. So it can walk at 86 Ks with a burst speed of 160 an hour. Holy crap, that's <laughs> insane. 16. So you use your hit and run tactics with your close combat stuff. So zip in there, make an attack. And Whack things. Out. Yeah. yeah. So oh, this that um, speed. Oh. This experimental armor stuff. So when you execute a frenzy attack with active EDP armor, which is what that one had. Yeah. Consult the Battle Mech Taser effects table using the Battle Mech Taser type columns. Apply a minus two penalty to the 2d6 roll for determining the armor's effects. And that, I think that um, gives you like, it modifies your piling skill checks, it modifies your gunnery, it modifies all sorts of stuff. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And a word of Blake. With wow. All their stuff as well. Yeah, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> But that's just, it's nice. That's a pretty much quad nice. melee weapon system. And talons and claws. Whipping tail. Yeah. So this is the Protomech quad melee weapon system. Weighs one ton and must be mounted in a torso location. Every five tons or fraction of the Protomech adds two points of damage to a frenzy attack. Oh. So if the... Wow. First deployed in 3066, they're added to a protomech as a series of claws, tusks, talons, horns, or tails, right? So they don't have one specific weapon. They, I think in the original protomech video, we mentioned that the frenzy attack is just a punch, a kick, and anything else you happen to have. Yeah. So these guys have claws and a tail and all that sort of thing. Now, it'd be worth finding out how much that system actually weighs on that mech, but we can't. I don't think we're going to be able to do it from here. No. Um... But for every five tons or fraction of, it adds two points to the damage. And that was, it was two points for everything under five tons and, no, it was one point for everything under five tons and two points for everything one and over two. five tons. Yeah. yeah, so four damage, that's still so if you give really it, reasonable. If you give it a fraction of five tons, that gives it four damage, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's not bad. That's really. not bad at all. That's a, a light mech kick. I like it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Be interesting to know what the. Yeah, we'll have a look because we're going to be designing some proto mechs, so we'll have a look at all of that sort of stuff <laughs> for later. But that's, um, that's why I've got tech manual and that's right. Got so it all I'm ready. going through it all because we're good. going to have to pimp out some proto mechs. <laughs> so that's the basilisk. Yep. Get them together. I like it. <laughs> 